Hey guys, welcome back. It's Corey. So if you guys want to know how to get your beauty blenders all squeaky clean like this, please continue watching. So you want to start off with some baby shampoo in a rag, and then you want to start off with your water at warm, you know, like lukewarm, not too hot, not too cold. So you just want to scrape the baby shampoo, which is the key to getting all the makeup out, onto the beauty blender. Well, you want to wet the beauty blender first, squirt the baby shampoo, and then start, you know, soaping it up and squeezing all of the makeup out like I just showed you guys. So after you do all that, then you just want to rinse it out with a beauty blender and I mean with the water and then you're good to go. So after that, you want to get the rag that I mentioned earlier and then I just want to go you just want to go in and press out any excess water that may be in the beauty blender. Get out any other water, just squeeze it all out cuz you don't want anything in there that's going to delay the drying process. You want it to be as quick as possible and as clean as possible just in case you need to use it like later on that day. So as for the dry process for the complexion sponge uh, by Real Techniques, you can just sit that aside on a paper towel and let it dry. But the proper way to dry your beauty blender is to put it on the container that it came in like this and then you're good to go. Behind the camera, so here's the moment that we've all been waiting for. I'm behind the camera because I simply look a hot mess, so I don't want you guys to see me. But um, here's one of my old beauty blenders. I just got this beauty blender from Target. Ooh, come on, fuck up. I got this beauty blender from Target. This is my first beauty blender, but it's like a beauty blender, you know, like a knockoff beauty blender. It's pretty hard in my life when I got me a real beauty blender. So when you get a real beauty blender, I guarantee you it will change your life. So I'm ready to cut into this just to see what it looks like on the inside. I've heard of people finding bugs in theirs. I hope there's not no bugs in here because I ain't got time. I remember when this thing was like my life. Cut it, 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 cut it. Them bricks is way too high, you need to cut it. Your price is way too high, you need to cut it. Cut it, 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 cut it. 3,000 years later, and I've cut it. So, I'm going to spread it for you guys on camera. One, two. I'm actually not, not, like, I'm impressed. Because it's not as dirty as I thought it was going to be on the inside. It's just dirty, like, on the surface. So, that's not bad. But this is the end of this beauty blender. And this is the end of this video. If you guys uh, enjoyed this video, like, informative videos, like that, please uh, give this video a like. Don't forget to comment and subscribe as well to keep updated on my new videos because I plan to do more informative videos like this. But I will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching.